a heated battle between rival Bulldogs, Fresno State fell short to Louisiana Tech. As in previous matchups, the game came down to a final shot. Louisiana Tech has defeated Fresno State in three of the past five games. Last season, the Lady Texters knocked the Bulldogs on a last-second shot in the 2010 WAC Tournament Championship game, which ended their 19-game winning streak. Fresno State coach Adrian Wiggins acknowledged their great effort, but felt that allowing second-shot opportunities and missed free throws gave the Lady Texters an advantage. You know, we've been in position. You know, we were up, what were we up by one and had two free throws and we didn't get those either. And so, I mean, we just didn't make enough free throws, you know. I mean, we missed 14 free throws. So, uh, you need to make those. Like you said, we need to make our layups. And I know it comes down to one shot at the end, but from a coaching perspective, I just get to see the whole picture and, and there's a lot of areas we can get better at. La Tech led the Dogs 74-71 to with only 37.4 seconds to play in regulation. Freshman guard Taylor Thompson hit a last-second three-pointer to send the game into overtime. As the teams battled back and forth, the Lady Texers came up big in the last two seconds of triple overtime when guard Brietta Thomas hit a three, which clutched La Tech a 94-92 win. We say it all the time, we don't lose at home, especially in conference. It could have been anybody today wearing that other jersey and it still would have hurt the same. But it's still early in the conference and we still got a lot of games to go. And honestly, we're still hoping for a white championship. Even though the Bulldogs fell short to the Lady Texters in triple overtime, the team is still in the hunt for a WAC championship. The team will be back at the Save Mart Center this Saturday as they take on the New Mexico State Aggies. With the Collegian Online, I'm Rachel Waldron.